I want to talk to you about Steven Strasberg. I'm curious as to, in your tenure, have you ever heard so much talk about one particular prospect in this kid? There's been a lot about Steven, but the, you know, there's a lot about the uh, first one or two draft picks every year. Matt Weeders two years ago got an awful lot of uh, uh, coverage uh, and uh, hopefully will live up to that as the Orioles have just brought him up. So uh, uh, Steven Strasburg has had a remarkable career and uh, we hope that uh, continues uh, quickly into the major leagues and that he has a long and good major league career as well. Well, there's no doubt that we have certainly exhausted some of the hype of this kid. Could he potentially be, is it fair to say that he could be the best pitching prospect ever? Um, I, I don't know that I would go nearly that far, but uh, uh, you know, given the media now and the electronic media and the fact that they have a videotape of every pitch he's probably ever thrown since he was 12 years old, uh, uh, there's no question that he has gotten a lot of publicity and uh, uh, will warrant, uh, I believe, being the number one choice this week. Well, the National has made no secret that they do intend on taking him with the number one pick, and he could be exactly what that team needs, especially from a marketing point of view, considering that attendance for that team is down. In terms of the state of baseball right now and its attendance, is it as bad as we perhaps feared due to the economic crisis? No, actually, we're guardedly optimistic. It's been a little bit better. You know, the commissioner last fall warned clubs uh, not to get cocky about their ticket prices, and the clubs responded with a vengeance. Uh, you know, uh, over half of the clubs either held their ticket prices or dropped them. Uh, every club has uh, promotional uh, value packs for families where a family of four can attend a game for 40 or $50 and get four tickets and four Cokes and four hot dogs uh, and uh, uh, parking. Uh, so, uh, you know, our attendance has, uh, has held at you know, something other than 5%, just under 5% down. And if you normalize that for the two new ballparks in New York with uh, their lesser attendance, we're about uh, 25 to 3%. So uh, if we get some good pennant races and the teams that are performing well continue to perform well, uh, I think we're going to be okay. And that's certainly good news leading up to the All-Star break huh, for this sport. Uh, a big debate, I'm sure you've heard here on ESPN, whether it's Mike and Mike, Sports Center, you name it. But a lot of people are curious. Manny Ramirez is right now the fifth leading vote getter for outfielders on the All Star voting. Right. He's due to return from his suspension on July 3rd, and the game is just about a week later. Should he be allowed to play in the All-Star game? A lot of fans have been asking that question. Well, you know, it hasn't been addressed in the collective bargaining agreement, and I think we will sit down and, and, and talk to the Players Association about that going into, in, into 2011. It, it wasn't anticipated that we would get someone who would lose 50 games during the course of the first half of the season and still get elected to, to, to the All-Star game. Um, I, I think I side with those. I think if you miss that much of the season and it's because of a drug-related issue, you probably should not be able to play in, in, in the All-Star game. But again, our CBA doesn't address that at this point. Well, we have been taking some tweets uh, from some of our viewers, and one in particular that uh, is asking you this question, and it's KJ Sanders. He asks, should a permanent ban be used for players caught using steroids like Pete Rose was for gambling? Is that something that Major League Baseball may try to explore in the future? I don't know that a, 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 well, there is a permanent ban now if you if you are caught three times, and you know that's what was bargained. It's now the toughest program in any uh, of the professional sports. Um, is three times right versus two times? Uh, uh, I don't know, but I'm, I'm not sure a 19-year-old who makes a mistake, uh, one mistake, ought to necessarily be banned from uh, pursuing his profession for an entire career. Uh, but again, the players, uh, you know, the commissioner put a program in effect in the minor leagues. It's almost 10 years old now. All of our young stars, you know, whether it's, uh, you know, Tim Lincecum or the Zach Granke or, or our Ryans, Ryan Howard, Ryan Braun, Ryan Zimmerman, they've all tested their entire career. They know the consequences of it. They know what happens if you get caught. And they've managed to stay away from performance enhancing substances. And uh, you know, we went from over 100 during the survey year in, in 03 to now just one or two a year. So the program clearly is working. We're going to continue to be vigilant and, and we will continue to look at the penalties over time.